Hi there, welcome. Hope you had a nice weekend. Today we're going to do August empties. It's a little bit early this month. We still have about a week, maybe just over, before we start the month of September. This is where I share all of my empty beauty products that I've used throughout the month. Sometimes I include some food products, supplements, you name it, whatever I have, I'm happy to share with you. Let's get started with beauty. Like usual, you will see many repeats month after month. The first one would be a repeat. This is the Neutrogena Makeup Remover Cleansing Towelettes in the singles. These come in little individual packages. They are great for travel. They're great to utilize for guests. This product has lasted me quite a while, so it's probably been a long time since you would have seen this in a empties video, but it is the ZO Skin Health by Zine Obaji. It's their exfoliating polish. I love this. I've already purchased a new one. There's two exfoliators that I use solely in every day. I do use them, I alternate. I use these in the shower in the AM. So I will use the exfoliating polish one day. The next day I will use my Dr. Brandt Pore Dermabrasion Exfoliator. I will have both of them linked in the drop down box below as well as everything else that I share with you today. Next up, we have some glycolic acid 20% resurfacing pads. I use these in the PM and I alternate this on the opposite nights of using my Tazerac, my prescription Tazerac. I recently shared a video talking about my skin care powerhouse products. These are the active ingredients that I use to get results. The 20% glycolic pads are powerful. I wouldn't start with this high of a percentage if you are just starting out, but I do talk more about a lot of these products in that video. I will have it linked in the drop down box below. I will also have a skincare video where I just talk about all of my typical AM and PM products. Really everything I share in that video is still current today. Another item always on repeat and already purchased is the Skin Medica TNS Essential Serum. You will hear me talk more extensively about this product in that powerhouse skincare video as well. Moving on to hair products, and you would have heard me talk about the next couple in a recent video that I did where I shared my favorite shampoo and conditioners. Right here we have the Alterna Caviar Anti-Aging Replenishing Moisture Shampoo. Next month you will see the conditioner because I have just a little bit more, maybe one to two more washes, but I wanted to keep it fair, but I did link both the shampoo and the conditioner in the drop down. I will also have that favorites shampoo and conditioner video linked up here where you can get to it to watch right after this. I also recently did a hair Q&A video. That video will be linked in the drop down. Loved answering all of your questions in regards to hair. Another shampoo that I talked about in that video, Joyco K-Pack Shampoo. Love this, we'll have both the shampoo and the conditioner linked as well. Another item always on repeat because I get the gray going around the hairline here and up through here in between my colors. I utilize this root concealer, it's by Tressa. It's the watercolors, dark brown. It does come in other shades. I will have it linked and I talk a little bit more extensively about this product in my hair Q&A video. We have a hand wash here by C.O. Bigelow. This is in Cashmere Fig, love the scent. Moving on to body, every single month, you'll see a cartridge from my Gillette Mach 3 razor. I will have the Mach 3 man's razor linked below, but I always purchase the little refills, go through probably one to two a month. Clearly we only have one here, but again, I am doing this video a little bit early. <laughs> Putting together a product that I cut up <laughs> month after month, you do get to see my cut up products. This is by Coco Brown by Marissa Carter. 
It's a gentle bronze gradual self tanner. I have not had luck finding this product again on Amazon. Really did like it, but there's other ones that I like just as much, if maybe not more. So I'm not going to go out of my way to search for a product that's difficult to find. So I'm not going to link this one, but I will share a couple of the products that I have been using. But before I do that, let me just share, this is the beauty spatula that I share with you every month that I utilize to scrape out my products when I cut them open. It's amazing how many days you can get out of a skincare, body care item, makeup, by using this beauty spatula. I always say it's a great gift. Everyone needs to have one or two. I have a couple. I always keep this one in the package just so I can share it with you every month. I will share that with self tanning, I use a variety, a gradual self tanner, usually two, is always going to be in my self tanning arsenal. And the two that I'm going to share with you today are gradual self tanners. So these are going to look like a regular body lotion, just like a white body lotion, but they're going to gradually tan you. I have the Jergens Natural Glow Three Days to Glow. I have been using this product for years. I do have a couple old self tanning videos. I will be sure to link them because there's a good chance pretty much everything I do is still the same and a lot of the same products. This is a medium to tan, but in it, so it does come in a lighter color. I've always used this one. I love it. Now, I would say later on in the day, you can somewhat detect you're wearing this. It does give off a little bit of an odor but I think it's just important to maybe apply a regular scented lotion later on in the day over top, like if you're going to go out, and you'll be good to go. If you are a fragrance wearer in general, if you spray with perfume, you should be fine. If not, use this on a day that you're not going to be doing anything, but I do use it a couple times a week. Currently, because I am self-tanning, I've been alternating, and that is generally what I will do, is I'll, I'll have two and I'll alternate. Love this one as well. Not going to leave that scent as much, so if you're really concerned about that, you may want to try this one. Both are very affordable. This is the Vita Liberata Self-Tanning Gradual Lotion with Maruca Oils. So, would totally recommend both of these. This one's going to be a little cheaper than the Vita Liberata, but they're both great for a gradual self tanner. Again, that's going to be different than some type of bronzing lotion that you put on to temporarily bronze you for that day. I think having all of the different types of coverage or a gradual self tan along with bronzing, I like to have everything so that whatever I need for whatever event I'm going to, I have it but definitely these would be worth looking into. Also just check out my video. I, I, I believe everything I share in there still are a lot of the products that I recommend and all the different tools I use as well. Moving on to makeup, but before we do, I want to talk about my number 10 scalpel that I use to micro derma blade. <laughs> I always want it micro and derma, just two things I have to get down. But I derma blade or derma plane my face generally a couple days a week. I do talk more about this and have a tutorial that I will have linked down below. I'll also put it up here. I used to shave my face, but I found I get a much closer shave by using the scalpel. Not for everyone, but love it. It's always on repeat in my empties. Another product always on repeat is the Kat Von D Ink Liner in Tattoo. This is my favorite liquid liner. It's so easy to work with. I did use it today just a little bit on the top. Another empties that I have that's always on repeat, using it today because that's what I have repurchased already is the Tarte Lights Camera Lashes Mascara. Such a great everyday all around mascara. It does everything that you could, that you would hope to achieve when it comes to a mascara. This will nail it. And then another repeat is my, there's a little, a little nub here. I go through these like crazy because they're just the best, but it's the Palladio Lip 
pencil in rows. Let me share what's been going on with the lip pencil situation because I do link what makeup I'm wearing in all of my videos and there's probably a lot of times you won't see this linked. What I really use this for is the outer line of my lip line because this pencil gets so sharp and that is something that I really place emphasis on when lining the outer perimeter of my lips. So I use this every day, no matter what color I'm going to go with, just because it gives such a sharp line. Then from there, I will decide which lip liner I really want to use. And I love the Huda Beauty Lip Contour Pencil. I have it in the shade Muse, which is my everyday, and Trophy Wife, and I love both of them. I will not be without those pencils because although they don't get the same point that the Palladio does, they moisturize the lip. And I like to fill my lip in before I apply lipstick because I believe it helps to keep your lipstick on your lips, even if you're drinking water or you're eating you'll still have some color to your lips because you filled the whole entire lip in. And I just love that the Huda Beauty Lip Contour Pencil, it's creamy. It's a very creamy pencil. So when it fills in your lip, it, it glides so smoothly. It doesn't tug like some of the other pencils would. You almost could wear it as a matte lipstick, but I just don't like that it doesn't get as sharp no matter how much you sharpen it, it doesn't get as pointy as this. And that's why I still need to use the Palladio lip pencil to do the outer line. Hopefully, hopefully that all made sense. Moving on to a couple supplements. Always share these in my empties. I have the Physician's Choice 60 Billion Probiotic with Prebiotic Fiber Blend. Always repurchasing these. And already repurchased a C1000 vitamin C supplement. Not too long ago, I did share a supplement video and I also shared a little tutorial of how I store my vitamins. I will be sure to put that video in the drop down box below and you can also get to it up here in the corner. Moving right along to something I share every single month. This is my members mark total protection underwear that I wear for my workouts. I haven't been using them as much, but I, I did just open up a package and fill up my basket. So you're getting to see the wrapper. Just because my workouts have been somewhat compromised, I ended up with tendonitis in my left foot and ankle. So I had to take about three weeks off from walking and then I can't do any of my bouncing or hit workouts i'm hoping to, hopefully by the time this video comes out i'm starting to get back into that so thankful that we purchased an arc machine this past year because that is something that i was able to utilize for a little bit of cardio after the about first week and a half with this tendonitis so that's been my go-to but again hopefully by the time this video comes out, I'm back in the saddle. Don't forget, just last Friday, Kirsten and Tim got married. Last Friday was August 21st, and we had the wedding. So now that's behind us. On to new adventures, new goals, and hopefully getting back to my hit routines and wearing those diapers, uh, just in case we have some leaking going on, which we always do. Carefree thong panty liners, always on repeat. All the girls use them. And you know I always like to share a couple food items. I didn't I didn't do my tuna packets and chicken and all that stuff and my eggs. That's just, there. it's always there. Everything's always the same. But did try this Cauliflower Mac by Sweet Earth. It's a frozen little, not very big portion bowl, I guess I would say. Very uh, flavorless, flavorless, would not repurchase. Another package that you see every single month that is emptied because I do empty at least one a month religiously is my Butcher Box Wild Caught Alaskan Sockeye Salmon such a great quality salmon. Highly recommend ButcherBox. I will be sure to 
have a link to, I don't know, sometimes they have a little offer when you use my link, but that will be in the drop down box. This is gonna be a little out of sequence because I missed it, but this is my L'Occitane Delicious Soap. Talk about this all the time. Have a whole video dedicated to the L'Occitane products that I use every day and how I use them. I will have it linked. Folgers is our coffee of choice. This giant canister is emptied, but you better be sure that we already have another one in the works. Also have a pair of panties here. <laughs> what? <laughs> they were getting rough, okay? we. <laughs> <laughs> periodically we have to replace our panties so <laughs> this pair this pair has seen its day let me just say that <laughs> had to get rid of those okay last but not least on, on that on that note <laughs> I did not, I did not <laughs> to drink all of these alone. I assure you. <laughs> it's a nice thought though. <laughs> oh, we have everything. Sauvignon Blanc, Rosé, Riesling, Riesling, Vanier and, Card and Chardonnay, <laughs> Sauvignon Blanc. I have no idea. The, oh, Merlot, <laughs> Chardonnay, um, Riesling, Cabernet and Pinot Noir. <laughs> so yeah, yep, quarantine. <laughs> Who can relate? Well, there you have it. Empties, including <laughs> some empty wine bottles. August empties. I will be back next month for September empties. Don't forget everything will be linked in the drop down box below as well as on the corresponding blog post as always. And uh, don't forget all the videos that complement today's video with products and items that I've talked about and tutorials and all of that good stuff. Those will be linked as well. Don't forget, coming up on deck September 1st, you know it, monthly motivation, thinking about doing a Q&A. So if you have any questions for me on anything, go ahead and leave them in the comment section below. And there you have it. Have a great week, and I'll see you right here on YouTube, Instagram Stories, and everywhere else. All right, take care.